Okay, this is the high voltage video two. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the configuration and execution of high voltage measurements in Vision software. I want to start by creating a new data set. I'm going to be using the hysteresis task. And so I'll begin by finding the task in the task library. Task located under hardware, measurement, hysteresis. Take the hysteresis task and drag it into the editor. And start by giving it a, uh, an appropriate and unique uh, task name. Then I'm going to uh, assign a thousand volts. And when I do this, you'll find that you're going to see an error. The reason the error appears is that the uh, external high voltage amplifier is not enabled in software. So what I need to do is acknowledge the error and reset a lower voltage. And then go to set amplifier button, opening the set amplifier sub dialog. I'm going to select external high voltage. The HVI COM port is always set to one. HVI channel, however, reflects the uh, selected channel in of the amplifier attached to the HVI. If you have a single channel HVI, this value will always be 1. If you have a two channel HVI, such as I demonstrated in video 1, this channel setting will either be 1 or 2, depending on which of the uh, two amplifiers you are selecting in software. Once I've selected the uh, high voltage amplifier, I can now set a thousand volts. I also need to make sure that I'm not exceeding the ramp rate of the uh, external amplifier, so I'm going to go from a 10 millisecond to a 100 millisecond hysteresis period. Add appropriate comments. Then I click OK to add the task to the editor. Next I want to add a couple of filter tasks. I'm going to add hysteresis filter tasks by going to the filter library selecting the task specific subfolder and moving a hysteresis filter up into the editor. Give the task an appropriate name. Select the centering filter in this case. Select the uh, input hysteresis task uh, and add it as input to the filter. And add appropriate comments. On the second page of the hysteresis filter setup, we configure the plot that's going to appear um, by adding labels. Click OK to add the filter to the editor. Notice that the hysteresis tag now indicates that it's associated with the filter by adding a, a uh, red rectangle to its lower right corner of its icon. We add a second hysteresis filter. I'm gonna, uh, in this case, I'm going to make it a normalized uh, CV filter that uh, determines uh, sample capacitance by taking a derivative of the polarization data. Select the hysteresis task as input, add appropriate comments. And again, adjust the plot setup uh, labels. Experiment's now configured to, uh, as we want it um, to make, do the demonstration. I need to move the experiment from the, or test definition, from the editor to the uh, um, data set by right-clicking in the editor 
and selecting test definition to current data set. The dialog opens it allows me to assign a unique and appropriate uh, test definition name. The experiment is now ready to execute. I need to turn on the amplifier and uh, set it to voltage out. Then I select data set, execute current, current test definition. As a measurement is being made, a stop button appears that allows you to stop the hysteresis measurement during execution. When the measurement is complete, each of the filters uh, provides a plot. The first plot is of the centered hysteresis data. Polarization is a function of voltage. The second plot is a derivative of the first plot, presenting capacitance as a function of voltage. I can re-execute the same experiment uh, by going F1. And the data is presented again. I can recover my data from the data set by opening the data set archive. Each of the executed experiments appears as an executed test definition, or ETD, under the archive, each in its own folder that's serialized and takes on the name of the current test definition. If I open the fo uh, one ETD folder, I'll see two subfolders, experiment design and experiment data. Under experiment data, I'll see the collection of tasks that were executed in the experiment. If I double-click any of these tasks, I'll open the configuration dialog to review the configuration. Since this is, uh, dialog is opened only for review, most controls are either disabled or read-only. In the case of the hysteresis task, if I close the configuration dialog, I'll open a plot configuration dialog that allows me to assign plot titles and uh, select a, a, a different plot filter, for example, polarization versus time. If I click OK, the data will then appear. In this case, polarization versus time. Polarization and voltage are both plotted parametrically as a function of time. From this dialog, I can export um, to any of the export targets that are available for hysteresis including a printer or an Excel file. Um, so this concludes the demonstration of uh, hyst uh, hysteresis high voltage configuration and execution. Uh, good luck in your measurements.